You bullied. absolutely cannot make this shit up. This sounds like a way that, like, you're like, you want your kids well, like, to get okay. bullied a little Luna bit. Luna Mufasa, right? Like, as long as you never tell anybody your middle name. Yeah, right? you're right. Like, Luna's fine. Yeah. I really don't understand Luna. Like, Luna is a first name, though. I, I feel like it's just kind of goofy. Like, it's fine. Well, it's it not as bad as some of them. always reminds me of, like, a cat's name. Exactly. John says it reminds me of a cat's name. So, yeah. well, there's Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter is why it's popular, right? Oh, but, yeah, uh, okay, right. But uh, what what it really comes down to is it is a is a pet name. Yeah, like, like the, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's funny because we had... Uh, uh, we had a coworker. His his girlfriend is just batshit crazy. Good. Uh, good. I think just got they got married. <laughs> uh, good. Uh, just recently, <laughs> good. but before the wedding. So this is what gets me is before the wedding she ch legally changed her name to Luna, and and our other my other coworker laughed. He goes, you know, I've got a cat named Luna. I said, well, I've got a dog named Luna, and he's got a wife named Luna. <laughs> right. I'm like. <laughs> fucking baffled right this whole situation we have going on right now oh uh, but whatever right it's I mean, you yeah. you do you it's what it comes down to you do you oh. it's fine it's exactly it's <laughs> like i don't i don't really know it is what it be right that kind of deal right I uh, just it, it cracks me up. That shit cracks me up. <laughs> like, but uh, I was I was laughing about Odin Vader, right? Like, <laughs> like really? Like the middle name Vader? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with people? Uh, well, that's the thing. It's like you know, if you named your pet that, that's one thing. But like a, a human. This is a ch yeah. This is a human, <laughs> right? A human being. They're not the brightest in the world. They have like a million pets of all varieties. Right. And, like, what are they? Are they at two kids now? Is that right, Ashley? Yeah. Uh, it, it, they're just going to keep coming. I'm pretty right. sure they're just going to keep popping out. Okay. Every year or two, we're going to get another ridiculous name. Yeah, no, I so. mean, at this rate, they're just popping them out, right? So, you yeah. know. Yeah, it's it's pretty silly. So I had to I've got to poke Lee and harass him here in a little while when he gets in here because uh you remember we were talking about how bad my dwarf deck is? Yeah. Well, over the last like 20 days the price of the card Seven Dwarves, which was like a 20 cent card, maybe. Yeah, I remember. Has risen from 20 cents to $2 and something. Oh. Uh, so I just took a picture, like I screenshotted it today and I sent it to him. I said, I'm just going to leave this pricing information for Seven Dwarves here. You know, you do with it whatever you will. I was <laughs> laughing because you know how you got him a Wheel of Time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Or Wheel of Fortune. We apparently yeah. whenever Alicia got her cards, that's one of the one like from her cousin or whatever that gave it to her. <laughs> uh, that was one that uh she had and she sold it for like two hundred some odd dollars. <laughs> yeah. 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 She was like, she was like, oh sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's that's a real deal. She could have probably got more for it if unless it was like it really chewed up. No, I think it was fine. But I mean, you know, it. I I don't know. She. Yeah, I, I forget how much she got for it. It was decent. But this was say, cause the one the one I I bought for Lee was it was it was heavily played. It was in serious seriously bad shape. Right. But when did she get those though? Or when did she sell it? Early pandemic, mid pandemic, something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah prices were low then. Yeah. People were people were hemorrhaging magic cards because they were like they oh were God, needing I need money. money. Yeah. Well, but, you know, honestly, that's kind of, as weird as it sounds, that's kind of what they're good for. Oh, yeah, no, that's exactly what they're, they're very, They're very fluid. Yeah. It's just, you know, kind of a weird situation with it. The other thing I see right now is everybody, like, spending lots of money to get, spend, oh, to get 
basically like JPEGs. Just a stupid footage. Ashley, could you go open the garage for Mother? Yeah, she's coming to the garage. <laughs> John, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I shit you not, this dude just surrendered after two seven dwarves on, on turn three. <laughs> he's like, he's like, no, I, I know what's happening. <laughs> I've started a thing, John. <laughs> like, you read the picture. Uh, You're like, this'll work. This'll totally work, right? <laughs> It's stupid and what of. Like, like, I completely agree that in, like, actual, like, competitive magic, it is not going to be good. No, but but for what it is right now, you know. Yeah, it's, for what of, it is uh, out, an outstanding deck. And it does stupid things. But anyway, my mom's here wanting to look at the floor. So I'm going to drop out for a few minutes and then, uh, and then jump back in a little closer to start time. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Like I say, I'm just going to so. be hanging out, looking at my... Shit. Token. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll be back in probably ten or fifteen minutes. All right, sounds good. See you.
Jared is showing his mom his floor. Because oh. she came over randomly, and then um, TC is painting something, and he just said to paint it whenever more people will get here. And Greg is, well, Greg, he'll be here. So. Child to sleep I, or lay down she, at least. She's <laughs> awake, but she's laying quietly. So I may have to run off, but it should be. It should be. It's just I'm daylight savings. It's just. Yeah, no, it's. Oh, not, you already it, poked TC. It screwed me <laughs> up too. So. Yeah. 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 She's not the only one. I'm all fucked up from it too. Well, yeah, I'm too. I'm taking vacation tomorrow. Just like I'm just having kind of a shitty week. Oh, dude. Uh, last week was bad for me, but this week's kind of... I, I feel more off this week, but last yeah. week I just had... It was shitty, because last week was my first week back in the office. And oh. now we do a, a time change, too. Yeah. So I'm still trying to get used to waking up early, and then they make it fucking earlier. Yep. <laughs> Welcome yeah, back. get up early. Now do it earlier. Yeah. That was just a practice run. Yeah. <laughs> Lee, did you see that text I sent you? <laughs> About the seven dwarves? Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. I laughed nothing. really hard. It means, it means the, yeah, it means nothing. It means nothing. the general magic community is uh, as hyped about dwarves as I was. I it mean, means. The whole, the whole internet yeah. is buying crypto key JPEGs right now, so, I mean, everything's yeah. all fucked up money wise, okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right, just invest yeah. in seven dwarves. <laughs> well, do so probably <laughs> what it means up. is <clears throat> the price started going up what like mid February. It means somebody probably found out in Strixhaven or whatever the is it Strixhaven? Whatever the next set the next is. Next one. There's that a dwarf. Something's gonna make the dwarves not hot garbage. <laughs> I hey, I just want you to know I called it out with no insider information, and I'm laughing my way to the bank on this one. I mean, it's a common, right? It's two dollars. Yeah. It's a common. That's two dollars. That and the problem Lord is, the ring stores could be. Oh, but yeah, but they're not gonna be standard legal. Not true. The commander. Yeah. Well, but. Well, yeah. the Lord of the Rings dwarves might be standard legal because they're gonna be in a set, not. No, commander. they already announced. They announced that none of that was gonna be standard legal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This Until time. it is. <laughs> Until yeah. it is. Ah. We changed Howdy. their mind. Yeah. Until they got acquired. And then it was. Uh, who's? Oh, okay. Everybody's here. I want to tell you guys about my uh, Hobbit PTSD. Oh, no. Uh, so, <laughs> so I have two kids, right? I have a two-year-old and I have a six-year-old. The six-year-old, I'm reading The Hobbit to her, which okay. it might be a little... She's just barely six, so it might be a little advanced for her, but she's been getting into it. We watched the old cartoon, and then um, she while we're reading it she's been getting into it and she saw the other books because i bought all the books in a box set because it was you know like 15 bucks or something right and she was cool. like what are the other books and i was like well the ring turns out to be bad and they have to you know get rid of it and there's a whole all these books kind of go through that and i was like we can watch the movies so we're gonna watch the movies but where we're at in the hobbit is they're going through murkwood and they just got lost um you know, look at like they found those elf feasts that like disappeared and the spiders got them. And so when Bilbo finds the spiders, he picks up a rock and chucks it and kills a spider. And like, I'm reading this and I'm having, I'm having some stress thinking about all those fucking hobbits running at me, throwing rocks uh, <laughs> when we played the, when we played the game over the summer. Right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I've got some Hobbit PTSD, and so I'm like on the floor, like kind of laughing about it, and she just doesn't understand. I kind of felt bad for the kid, but who would have thought Hobbits throwing rocks would give me some, would stress me out like that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's just having flashbacks. It's just, just like, nah. Yeah, just waves of Hobbits running at me with rocks. Talking I, like, I mean, I remember Jared hands. getting stomped on. Yeah, <laughs> Double by Hobbit. the Hobbit. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody was just talking shit about the Hobbits being bad. Like, oh, it's gonna be so funny, and it was in no way funny. Like, <laughs> no, no. fucking wounded your dude. It was a massacre. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> it was terrible. 
<laughs> it was yeah. it was great because that mission was just the worst. Uh, it was like you know that that was the one where everybody gets split up on the board edges. You just kind of roll. Yeah. And like there was just one dude that was out there. There were like eight hobbits fucking. <laughs> surrounding <him>. like, <laughs> and then they start converging on individual models. It's like yeah. oh my god, there's so many uh, rocks. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Oh, the hobbits. Nothing the you hobbits can do hobbits. about it. No. No, right. sure one, but, oh, all right. I think so. Everybody's here. Anything else? Any other business before we get moving? We did XP last time, right? Uh, we did do XP last time. Yeah, we did not do yeah. loot though. We didn't do loot. Uh, we did not do loot. All right. I have. I wrote down specifically where we were at. Start with loot post combat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's on. There we go. There we go. Where are my notes? Notes, notes, notes. All right. Did Ashley write her notes in my D and D book? Uh, uh, that that is why my notes are sitting off to the side because there's a page that says meeting today and it has a bunch of like meeting notes on it. Oh no! This is this does not belong <laughs> in the uh, the campaign notes. All right. So we. All right. Well, this is good. Okie dokie, folks. Um, well, we're noteless. We might be noteless. Hold on. Which means. Oh, and is this it? Well, this is awkward, boys. Um, it might be stuck in one of the books somewhere. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. If not, I'm going to yell at Ashley. This crypt have a thousand gold pieces in it. <laughs> As it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, there it is. For Holy some shit. reason, it's in. For some reason, it was in my game mastery guide. Oh, I know why. That's why. Okay. I found it. We're okay. Uh, so. We did it. Yep, yeah, the loot is, uh, the loot has been acquired, or is about to be acquired. Uh, so, what are we doing? Oh, uh, okay. Adventure awaits. Well. Uh, we're gonna loot the guy. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna search, I'm gonna search the, uh, the big one. The big one. Okay, yeah. so his, his great sword disappeared in a played black mist. Right. And, uh, uh, but you see this, this gold, this gold amulet with a red jewel that is shiny. Yep, I'll take it. Um, he's taking it. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> So as you uh, as you pick up the red jewel, it kind of flares to life. Uh, it flares bright red, and then it dies down to a just kind of a much lower, uh, a lower hue, and you almost feel it. You feel it kind of it's a tickle at the back of your mind, like it's almost like it's reaching out to you. Oh, uh, I guess I'll Arcana check. Okay, so I was reading. There's Arcana is how you identify items, by the way. Yeah. So that's, that's what I thought. Thing. Identify magic item. Uh, Arcana. Yeah. Um, oh, shit, I rolled a 20. Look at that. Uh, uh, ends up with a 20. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, all right. Uh, so you have got a, uh, a ruby amulet that is... Uh, it has... You can detect it has uh, an affinity for uh, fire and for, uh, for fiends, like demons. It's got a, a demonic essence to it. Uh, and so what you can do with it is you have the ability to uh, you have the ability to throw flare bolts from it. Is that what you're doing? I lied. It's not flare bolts. You get it. Well, uh, that's not what he, one of the things he did. It is one of the things he did. A lot of things thrown at Hold me. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, no, he, it's, uh, You've got the ability to make a little haze of like a mirage of heat uh, okay. around you, uh, which will give you the concealed status. I'm going to give you the details on it here in just a second. When I that's why it was stuck in this book, by the way. Yeah. Makes Past sense. Jared was way more prepared than future Jared is, or present Jared, <laughs> because I had it the right page marked with this whole thing. But we're getting there now. Uh, so, uh, you can activate it, 
activate the amulet for two actions and you give it a command and then you give it a command and you envision what you want it to do so you just have to be able to speak and to give it a verbal command which you you know uh and you have to be able to you know be conscious and think about what you want to do and once per day you can make it uh Elevate the air temperature around you, creating a heat shimmer that distorts your appearance and grants you the concealed condition for one minute. Uh, as the nature of this effect still leaves your location obvious, you can't use this concealment to hide or sneak. Okay. All right, cool. And that's that. Uh, okay, so then it, it it doesn't do anything with fire. Uh, it just heats up the air around you. Okay, so it, it, it has it has, it has some affinity, affinity with the fire. fire and yep and things. I don't fully understand what has an affinity for fire means, but sure, it just I'll, I'll it feels it. yeah, it feels feels kind of you know like it it likes fire. It likes fire, hot. likes it. Yeah, got it. All right, note to self: bring this to the uh, the magic lady later. Let's see if I can get a better idea of what's going on. Uh, all right, cool. What else does this dude have? Uh, you find on his body, uh, it's actually sort of barren. Uh, his armor's super chewed up from being beaten on uh, by everybody forever. <laughs> uh, it, it, there's actually not a whole lot else on him. Oh, all right. Cool. Um, weren't there some chests? I'm gonna limp up here. No, I'm just like scrolled way in. By the way, I was yeah, just looking was at like <laughs> that's what I was looking at. It's just a, a bunch of bunch of squares. I imagine it's like the other tombs, but I'm gonna go ahead and like kind of check these over here on the right wall. Just uh, all oh. those, uh, they they look very similar to the other ones. They're they're pretty well uh, empty. Uh, if you examine all of them, you're gonna find a grand total of twelve copper pieces. Hell yeah. Did any of the other uh, skeleton weapons and stuff survive? Uh, you've got there's two long swords uh, and two two metal or one metal shield that survived. Okay. John, are you carrying those? Uh, what what were they? Two long, two more long swords and one metal shield. Okay. Yeah, I can. I got this. All right. So I'm going to go open this chest. Uh, so, Tusi, as you try to open that chest, uh, it just kind of disintegrates into dust. Oh. As it's as you try to open it, there doesn't really seem to be anything inside. There's some some piles of, like, scraps of cloth and things. It don't look like the, the years have been kind to them. Oh, all right. Cool. Well, I guess I'll go try to open this chest. All right. That chest, you try to open it, is locked. Well... Okay, I'm gonna yell. It's locked. All right, oh, let me come look. Does anybody have any more heals at all, or are we just all right? Really I, I do have, I, I do have one, uh, one spell. How's everybody else doing? I'll just keep it around. Yeah, uh, I am. I am straight out of everything. <laughs> oh, I have twenty. No, I have twelve health. Okay, okay. Yeah, I drain two. Um, I'm out. Okay, are you forty? I guess I didn't change that, so <laughs> yeah. Lee know. didn't actually take very many hits. No, All right. Lee was John, your backup plan. Yeah, I, John, uh, in case everybody died, deal. I tanked everything. Yeah, I I Let's have a minor health deal. potion that you can have, John. Yeah. All right, John. John, you get fourteen. Okay. Better. That is my last spell. Okay. Also, is he uh? Also drained. Did too. you guys you guys medicine to Lee right? So he's immune, but I don't think you've medicined John yet. Uh, yeah, I don't think oh. anybody's medicined me. Uh, I, did right. it, well, I did oh. it with my battle medicine, but I think he it's did just battle medicine. Yeah, he cool did battle technically. medicine. I, I, it's separate. All right, I'll DC 15 you with natural medicine. Okay. Ooh, uh, that's probably not going to cut it. Um, yeah, that's a, that's only a 10. So. Okay. Tough. Uh, I guess I'll do it with Greg. Uh, uh, that is a 12, so it also doesn't cut it. All right. Okay. A couple of bad rolls. 
I guess I'll medicine myself, or did, no, you know what? We might have done it recently in between this encounter and the most recent one. So uh, I, I believe you did. It. Yeah. Okay. I rolled a four. Uh, get all those garbage rolls out of the way now. Uh, no healing. <laughs> yeah. No healing for anybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Anyway, uh, I need to open this. Right. That's what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. Which one are you on? Uh, the one on the right. Uh, the one I... on the right. Tusi tried the one on the left. Oh, is that? No, I tried, tried the one. I tried the one on the right. I think you tried this. One. Oh, I'm sorry. That one is that one is also locked, as it turns out. Okay. Oh, surprise. Um. Well, let me. Can I perceive any traps on it? Uh, you can give me a check, or let me let me make a check for yeah. uh, some stuff. Yeah. That's a better way to do it. Yeah. Because you know, uh, perception mod, John. Oh. Plus. So you notice? Eight. Doesn't matter. You notice uh, that there is a. There is a wired uh, kind of a. A little, a little shine of a wire on the side of the chest uh, that looks like it's connected to the top. The top. Um, so could yep. I stand here and disarm it, or like? Uh, you can attempt to disarm it. Uh, yeah, I'll stand there and <clears throat> attempt to disarm it. So, uh, what is that thievery? Yep. Uh, twenty-six. You have uh, successfully disarmed the trap. Excellent. Now I will go for you, the. You prop launch. it and you prop it and maintain pressure on the cord and you know snip the wire and it, it seems to be disarmed. Great. Can I recover or learn from these traps? Uh, My own snare crafting. Sure. Give me a give me a thing. <laughs> I'll give you a, a thing. Recall, give me a recall knowledge thing. I got a nineteen on whatever thing I'm giving. Okay. Uh, so, Greg, you can... Let me think about it. You'll get something. Okay. You'll get something neat. I, I will. Just, I gotta, because... You think. All right, go ahead, John. Yeah, I'll work on, work on this. Here. Huh. Um, how does a 19? Uh, 19 does not quite cut it. Um, but, but you didn't, you didn't screw anything up, so you can try again. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, twenty-eight. All right. Yeah. The the chest clicks open. And I. Uh, da 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 da. Then, da 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 da. da. <laughs> uh, you see a pile of you see a small pile of coinage, uh, and as you sift through the pile, you also see a rune stone. Uh, with a a rune on it that you don't recognize immediately. Uh, uh okay. forty copper pieces, eight silver pieces. I'll just, I'll just add them just, to mine. Yeah. Just d dump it in whatever, as long as yeah. we get them all down. I, I, I'm just adding it to my pocket. Um, and then, uh, can we Arcana the Runestone? Yup. Somebody sure can. Arcana. Minus one. Mine's plus zero, so. I got a six. What the fuck is this? That I mean, is I'll a Runestone. Roll. It's shiny. <laughs> um, I rolled a one. All right, you're clueless. It's a rock. John, that's no rune stone. <laughs> it's the rock, you silly head. Oh, uh, <laughs> so shiny though. <laughs> no. Ugh. But Bannon would like this shiny rock. Shiny <laughs> rock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go check over the other chest <laughs> for traps. Yeah. All right. Nope. Uh, do you want to make the roll for... Oh, yeah, I'll do it. Uh, yeah. Alright, you don't see anything on that chest. It seems legit. Let's try and open it. <laughs> uh, 21. Alright, lock clicks open. Uh -huh. um, let's open it. Alright, uh, as it opens, the lid does kind of crumble in, and you notice there's a, a bunch of... Uh, there's like some more scraps of cloth and what maybe was once paper, but it's it's just a pile of a big pile of mess. As you sift through the paper, you do find a uh, a small ring, uh, which uh, with a silver band and a small red gem. Uh, does it seem magical? Arcana? <laughs> yeah, you can Arcana to see if it seems magical. Uh, hey, I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> My arcana's really bad, but I'm standing right five. there, so might as well. I got a five. Okay. 
You guys don't, don't detect about magic. any magic. You don't detect any magic coming from the ring. I mean, oh. you always put it on. Nothing that seems bad. like a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, we'll just hold on to it. It's fine. Uh, uh, Greg, don't you have Arcana? Like, don't oh. you have an int bonus? I have an int bonus, but I'm not trained. Oh. The uh, things you now know about your party. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> knows shit about magic. Yeah, well, you know. This this other chest, has anybody tried to do anything with it over here? Uh, I, I haven't. This one? All right. I haven't. So we haven't seen a mimic. I'm going to give this one a good hit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> there it is. Okay. It is. 28. Well, uh, you hit the chest. Facing towards you or away from you? I hit it for eight damage or uh, six damage. Okay, so the chest, uh, the, the lid of the chest crumbles away, and you hear a plang uh, from inside as a, a small kind of one of those nets of uh, not like nets, but like a grating of spikes levers out of the chest uh, towards All you. Right. Uh, go ahead and give me a reflex save. All right. <laughs> Eighteen. Buck says that there wasn't actually a thing of spikes in there until Lee decided to fucking hit it. <laughs> hey, I got ten to what was your good dollars. Eighteen. <laughs> uh, Lee, you only take two damage. Ah, see, it's fine. I can, I can send you a picture of my notes where it says this chest is trapped. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just pick really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's fair. Uh, so after after Lee uh, sifts through, he does see that there was a uh, there's another pile of coinage in this chest. Uh, did I lose everybody? It made no, a noise. No, no, nope. okay, no, no. Nope. It just made a weird noise. Okay, uh, so you see the shine of gold pieces in this chest, Lee, mixed Ooh, in with the others. Yeah. Uh, there are six gold pieces. Okay. Ooh, Nineteen fun. silver pieces. Okay. Oh, fuck. And sixty copper pieces. God Ooh. damn. All right. Uh, and then there's also, as you're kicking around, looking around the chest, you see some uh, some small piles, uh, th some like little little like open open boxes that have copper and uh, and the little bits of silver in them as well. Uh, so miscellaneous coinage laying around the floor. There's like seven silver pieces, and, and another excuse me, and another uh, twenty one copper pieces. Okay. Um. Do these pillars look similar to the pillars that were out in the other room? Like, uh, yeah, they're of a similar construction. Yes. Okay, but like, I don't see any like buttons on these, do I? Uh, you do not see any buttons on them. Okay, and then have we looked inside any of these sarcophagi? The, the little ones, uh, not the top ones, no. Okay. No, well, I'm gonna check the door. See if the door is open. Uh, door is unlocked. All right, I'm going to push open the door. Okay. I'm going to check the left sarcophagus over here. Uh, okay. I guess I'm going to come with Tusi so he doesn't die. So you open the door. It gets dark. <laughs> Why did it do that? <laughs> okay, that was odd. There was a drive uh, on the other side. Yeah, you <laughs> open the door, uh, and you see, a, uh, you see another hallway similar to the one that you just went through. But toward the end of the hallway, there's a large rock collapse. Um, it, it, oh. From here, it doesn't look like it's passable. Oh. Complex is bigger than we thought. It does not look like it's passable. I'm going to perceive it for any potential openings. Okay. I got a 20? Nope, 19. Uh, so you dig around uh, for a little bit, uh, and it looks like that if you were to try to shift the rubble, uh, it could cause a further collapse. Uh, and you don't see any any holes large enough for anything more than insects to crawl through. Gotcha. <clears throat> gotcha. Uh, One sec. Do I find anything? Off a guy. Uh, John, you find. Uh, you find two lances. In those sarcophagi, uh, and another uh, another three silver pieces. Yep. 
out to my encumbrance with carrying all this, <laughs> but uh, I can get it out. He's, so. he's bleeding, dragging out all the gear. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I just need it's a good night's fine. rest. That's all I need. I need a really good night's rest. So. Alrighty, what now, boys? Well, done all we can. Did uh, Greg want to take a look at that other rune stone that nobody oh, else knows yeah. what it is? I mean, he, he can look if he's untrained, right? It's just yeah, he can he yeah. can gander at it. Yeah, here, take okay. a gander. Gandering. Ten plus three. Am I arcaning? Is that what I'm gandering yep. with? Yep. Thirteen. Yep. It's a thing. Nope. Greg doesn't know what it is either. Yeah, well, I don't know. What do you think about this ring? I'll kind of hold it out in my hand. I think even less about that. Wow. I'm pretty sure it's just a ring. <laughs> it's a ring. <laughs> Ain't nothing magical about that thing. You really need to, like, yeah. <laughs> learn about magic items. Yeah, it might be time to get her trained in Arcana or some yeah, shit. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Or we just don't, and we just stop trying to identify him in the field and take him to the lady that knows. Or just, you know, stay a while and listen. Yep. <laughs> just, Your you know, came. play it fast and loose and just put on anything we find. It so. feels like the worst idea, but, you know, <laughs> it, it's still an idea. Yeah. I mean, your, the ring can be a would... mimic. Your, your DM <laughs> would never fuck with you like that. Oh, dude, a mimic ring that bites your finger off? That is yeah. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Let just, me see the just ring. Just remember. I'm gonna take care. Just of remember. What kind of ring is? <laughs> Be aware. That's hilarious. All right. So now what? Oh, well, I think we uh, head back Thank to you. town and uh, report our findings. And also, I need a bed and a beer. A bed, a bed and a beer. Yeah, that's fair. Not necessarily in that order. Yeah, you're wounded three, drained two. Like, you're in a bad way. I hurt all over. It'd be a shame. It'd be a shame if something happened to you on the way out. Yeah, well. You know, it would be a shame. Low fair uh, I'm gonna, on the horizon. So. I'm going to go ahead of everybody on the way out. Um, Look at Lee. Be a team player. I have the most health, and everything's a mimic now, so. <laughs> <laughs> did, that, did that thing curse him? You know, <laughs> he's got these delusions. <laughs> oh shit! Somebody was telling me a while back uh, about the mimic swarm. So it's actually not a mimic. It is a bunch of tiny mimics that all like oh. like pile together to make something. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like it's a thing out of nightmare. terrifying creature, right? Uh, so Lee, you don't you don't see the guy of the ordinary on the way back. You okay. you get out past the waterfall, and uh, it's actually still daylight out. Nice. Oh shit! I'll fire off the flares. All right. So after some intense signaling, uh, uh, Eamon comes back on the boat, uh, and he looks at your like bulging packs uh, with all the things, and he says, "So." Uh, so it looks like it was an eventful day. I'm like limping onto the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just holding, gonna be like, holding your organs in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. No, we got we got this stupid shiny rock and this ring that doesn't fucking do anything. So <laughs> it was pretty boring. So uh, you see his his crew's kind of looking at you as you get on, and you can they're clearly kind of eyeing you. And seeing uh you can see the greed start to rise up in them a little bit. But uh they turn and you know, they begin to sail back toward town. How uh how many of them are there? Uh he's got seven people on the boat, including himself. Alright. I go into my I go into my purse and I pull out seven silver pieces and I just hold them. Uh and just kinda holding them in my hands. Uh Wait until till somebody gives me a sideways look. Well, you see, uh, you start to see some of the rowers uh, 
it looks like you're they they kind of start to scowl at you as you you look like you're starting to count your money in front of them. And I'm just, I, I, I'm kind of give them a give them a wink and a nod back, uh, and and just kind of flip one coin to one of the people that's looking at me. He uh he looks he looks really surprised but uh happy that you're handing out money and he uh he quickly pockets it and goes back to the oars. Uh, but you see the others kind of look peaked. Their interest is definitely peaked. And he says, "Oi!" He says, "If you're, if you're handing out money, he says don't forget about me." Yeah. So I, I start distributing one to each of them. Just say, "Remember, remember who gave you this." So they uh, they seem they seem a little bit uh, seem a little bit uh, more calm and exci- more excited about it. Cause, you know, you've given them quite a bit of money uh and they said hey you can ride with us anytime yep i'm gonna pull out my uh loot or no what do i have i have a pan flute i think yeah i'm gonna pull out my pan flute and attempt to play a song for everybody i have the recorder right yeah john's got a recorder all right i got a performance check says yeah (laughs) only a 20 all right. So, with your new knowledge of the uh, of of the note E, you manage to play a half passable song. No one throws you in the water. I'll take uh, it. Did anybody want this metal shield, by the way? Like, were one of you looking to get a shield? That's something. I room. do, but I can't use it yet. You can't use it yet. Do you want to hold on to it, or do you want me to sure. just hold on? Yes. Here is a metal shield. Um, plus two AC bonus. Where's two gold pieces? Gold one. Yeah. Steel shield, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yep. Pack is lighter. Hardness five. I am now encumbered. (laughs) Uh Oh. Store that somewhere, huh? I mean, I can give it to you in town if you want, but... I will keep it in my cauldron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yep. 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 Good thing got little cauldrons wandering around behind you. All right, so you guys make it back to town fairly uneventfully after TC has uh, bribed the sailors. Um, what, so how long does it take? How long is this journey? Is it like an hour or something like that? Uh, it's uh, It's about two and a half hours. Okay. So it's it's mid after mid to late afternoon by the time you get back. Gotcha. Um, I'm gonna go see Freya. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna come with. It's time we identify some magic items. And I just need I need heals. So. Okay. I mean, uh, you can maybe treat some wounds on the way back. Two two checks over the two hours. Yeah, if you, if you want to. I mean, is she? Yeah, I'll throw them. Um, yeah, I'll throw two at everybody. Well, two at everybody is wounded, anyways. Okay. Seems reasonable. John. I guess I should do the same. I could success that. Medicine yeah. seems really good. Like, yeah. Like, really, really good. Uh, 48 and wounded is removed. Is it only Four one D8? wounded? 4d8, yeah. A crit, a crit success is additional two d eight, I think. Four d eight. Do you want me to roll that? Yeah, you roll the healing because okay. I'm just gonna keep rolling my gotcha. actual checks. It doesn't right. remove cool. all my. The wounded. second one, you could do sixty eight because I got a success on the second one for you. Okay, I'll go ahead and roll for oh, John. Sixty eight. Okay. Uh, John. I, I'm. Oh, that was that was for John. <laughs> okay. You so roll yeah. yourself. I'll roll for myself. I'll all right. Done. I rolled an eleven and a fifteen, which is. Succeeded on myself. Okay, I'm, ba- I'm back to full, done. and I think Succeeded since I'm at full, as long as it's been 10 minutes, I think wounded goes away. Yeah. Yep. All right. So John is no longer wounded. So I picked up 12 uh, hit points, uh, and I get a 24. 28. Oh man, my uh, my actual heal rolls are real bad. I've gotten <laughs> one three one, and then an eight. Mm. Okay. Whew. Sad. 13. Not great. It eh, puts me at 31. That's enough for now. So where did the... So are these numbers in the 
these numbers in the uh, sheet accurate on gold? Uh, I don't think I pulled seven out of mine yet. Um, nope, that's dinner. Where am I looking at? Miscellaneous? Miscellaneous. Yeah, there you go. 30. Yeah, my, my pocket's think... right. Yeah. My is the party right. loot right? Uh, the stuff I added is right. That is correct, Jared. The stuff you're looking at. Okay. Because I just added that today. And John, your party loot's right? I believe so. Okay, so yeah. there's that is yet to be split. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are like rolling in dough. Yeah, you're gonna fuck ton of gold. Yeah, it's really easy to spend. I don't know what I'm gonna though. spend it on. Yeah. I, some, I don't know what I'm gonna spend it on yet. There's some runes and stuff that are worth getting, but they're expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> expensive. Yeah, everything is kind of expensive. All right, fellas. So, uh, you've medicined your way around. I think everybody probably is in good shape health-wise, right? Yeah, I think yeah, we're 24. good. I just yeah. want to go get these items identified, the runestone. Yeah. The... Okay, so Ray is going to take a look at them. I'll do the same. Give her the amulet, see if I can get some more information about it. So, Ray uh, clearly knows... She knows stuff about those first couple things. The amulet, however, she... Uh, We'll do the amulet first. She uh, she looks at it and she picks it up and she uh, immediately kind of tosses it down uh, and kind of hands it back to you. And she says, this is, I've never felt anything like this before uh, from an item. It's, it's as if there's a, she says it feels that there's a, there's a, a heat to it, but it's got something more sinister um, within as well. Uh, you know, nothing overtly hostile that she can tell. But uh, it makes her skin crawl, and she says it's not. Uh, she doesn't want it anywhere near her. Uh, right. Cool. 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 Uh, I will just grab it back, and I'll just be like, "All right, I'll take this." Um, and okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put my ear up to it to see if I can hear a voice from it. Uh, okay. Yeah, Roll me a perception check. You haven't like put it on yet, have you? No, I haven't. Oh no. Uh, I'm going to roll a new dice because that one landed under my computer. I'm not going to go down there. Oh, shit, I got a 20. Uh, so 24. So, uh, so you hear a uh, you hear a whisper. From, uh, it's unintelligible. It's in a language that I don't think you understand. What are your languages? Um, that is a great question. Um, what the fuck are my languages? Where are those on my actual sheet? All right. While well, he's oh. finding that, John. Com uh, Common and Amarun. Yep. You have. You don't know what it said, but then you hear a. Uh, you hear a. Uh, a small. A small chuckle at the end. Like you can tell the the voice is laughing. Oh. Well. Uh, and then. John, you, uh, Rhea tells you that the, uh, that's, that is a rune, a plus one rune of striking. Plus one. Uh, and the ring, she says, is, uh, she says that it will uh, nullify the effects of fire. So it's a lesser ring of fire resistance. So it gives you, uh, resist three slash, uh, three slash dash. So resist three fire. Oh. Yes. Uh, that seems helpful. Um, trying to think who that who would benefit the most. I feel like I just because I'm in front line, but I mean also, I mean it's fire, you know, it's situational. So. Say the uh, put it the, on. Uh, put who's it got on. the biggest reflex save Me. between you and Lee? I have a plus eleven. I've got a plus eleven. So it doesn't really matter if Tusi tries to burn one of you. Yeah, I just feel like I'm in the I'm always up there in it. You yeah. know what I mean. So I think yeah. I'll I'll go ahead and put it on. Um, <clears throat> it does not bite your finger off. I'll uh, <laughs> I'll I'll borrow it from you when I have to hit any suspicious looking uh, yeah, 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 pieces yeah. of furniture. You say that's just called just a, a ring of lesser fire resistance. Uh, yeah, it's not in the book, John. Okay, I'm just gonna. It, there's. 
Yeah, you can look at Ring of Fire Resistance, but it's I just basically dropped it from five to three uh, to make it of an three. appropriate level. Okay, yeah, I put I put yep. it in my resistance. Yep. All right. Um. Uh, and so, the plus one. So you see, are you you doing? Anything? Oh, go ahead. Uh, the pr plus one striking is. Doubles uh, your damage dice. Oh, it doubles your damage dice. Yo. That's the yeah, good it's pretty one. good. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this amulet. I think we need to find somebody who can tell us what it is. Yeah. I'm going to ask Rhea if she has any idea of, of who she might be able to help identify it. Uh, she, she currently says that she doesn't deal with uh, she she doesn't deal in magic items and has, has never never seen anything of its like. Um, we should we should go visit the mayor. All right, that's fair. He'll and not as guy. fun. Yeah. I'm gonna right, put it the... put it back in my pocket or my bag somewhere. Okay, uh, as you're holding, you feel like just a warm pulse, uh, kind of a soothing soothing heat come from it, and then you put it away. Runes, you have to like spend time to transcribe them, right? That is true. I think you guys have a. No, Greg transcribed that, or he put that plus one on his sickle, didn't he? Yeah, so I think we have a, a just a blank rune. Yeah. Yep, and you've also. Lee's got a plus one on his bow that he presumably doesn't use as often anymore. Oh, yeah, that's a good call. We should probably move that onto something else. I forgot about that. Because I was going to say, yeah, if I put. See. If Friendly I put neighborhood the... DM. If I put the striking rune on mine, I'd get 2d8. That's pretty good, I suppose. And do, and, but I would lose my plus one to hit, but that's fine. No, you don't. Oh, you don't. You can stack them. Oh. Yeah, you actually have to have a plus one on it before you can put a striking oh, on it. Oh, okay. I get, I get it. Okay, okay. The runes, there's, there's a, you have to have so many integral runes before you can stack more runes. Oh. It's a neat little system. Uh, yep. I'd like at some point here before we venture back out of the wilds to take one of the rune stones and transfer the uh, the plus one from my longbow to my silver plated short sword. Okay, silver Lee. If you look in the rune section, mm -hmm. there is a there is a little section on how to transfer runes. It's basically I think you have to pay ten percent of the cost. Uh, I think. I'll get it pulled up here in just a second. Yeah, it's in the, it's in the rune section itself. You're welcome to do the same with the sickle, John. Okay. Like, I don't think John needs now. it. I, I don't Cause need he... it because I already have the plus one to hit on my on my bracers. Oh, oh you already have it. Or okay. on my wraps, rather. And so so if it's 10% and it's... So it'd be... If the striking ring is 65 gold pieces, it'd be 6.5 gold pieces. That's to... But to oh. do it from a runestone's free. Oh, but that's it's right. okay. it, when you're transferring from item to item, it, yeah, I think it's ten percent. But the plus one rune is not as expensive as the uh, striking, so I think I think it's like gonna be in, in like maybe two or three gold for Lee. I, I don't know. Gotcha. Transferring runes, you can transfer runes between one item or another. Oh, it says I don't think I have to have a rune stone to even do that. Um, no, you don't. You don't. Oh, I see. Potence. Oh, it can only have one fundamental rune of each type. Okay, I get it. Okay, 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 okay. The um, DC of the crafting check is to transfer a rune is determined by the item level of the rune being transferred. The price of transfer is 10% of the rune's price, unless transferring from a rune stone, which is free. Yep. And so you could transfer it to the rune stone, but you'd still have to pay 10%. Yeah. And then you could put it back on something else later. I mean, I'll just so straight pot transfer. So potency is 35 gold, right? So 10% is three and a half. Yeah, so three gold, five silver. I guess I'll take the evening of no... It, I mean, are you guys cool with me taking the striking one? Yeah, for sure. Cool, okay. Um, I'll Beef up the fist. Yeah, I think it'll take... It says it takes a day, I think, to put it on there, so... All right, I'm down with taking a day to, to do nothing. Yeah. But that's what I'll, that's what um, I'll do this next day after we get done with whatever tonight. That's what I'll I'll spend time doing. 
exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's time to go. Time to go talk to Bannon about this stupid amulet. Okay. Uh, so you you find Bannon. You explain to him what you found, and he's more perplexed than ever. He's just still in shock that there are there are other, you know, presumably would have been humans or humanoid races, civilized races out here. Uh, you show him the amulet, and he said, you know, he says in all of his he says in all of his time and journeys, uh, and then he kind of realizes what he said and shuts up a little bit uh, that he's never seen he's never seen anything uh, of that kind of that style of craftsmanship. Uh, it's it's not something he's seen before. He you know, he looks at it and he says he's you know he it's not a he's not an expert in magic, but it's it's definitely something that's a little more uh, it's a unique style that he's not seen. Um. All right, uh, I'm gonna go to the bar. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll join you for a drink. All right. Is there anybody at the bar who is very drunk? Uh, Hold on. Uh, it is like uh, it's like five o'clock ish. All Let's right. Find out. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk up to the drunk person. Uh, who is it? Uh, you don't know him. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, deceive him into putting on this amulet. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't like it. What, what's your alignment? Um, hold on. Uh, eh. Neutral good. I'm lawful okay. neutral. I mean. Okay. All right. What is John going to do um, <laughs> as he watches me try to put this on? How would how would a lawful neutral character view this? Because to me, it's this. I'm neutral, but lawful implies that I am I'm I like things to be done in a uh, a certain manner, right? So um, so so seeing John pu puzzling with this, I before I try to put this on him, I go, you know, friend. I have this very fancy amulet that I think would look very good on you. What if I gave you? Uh, what if I gave you a few piece a, a piece of silver to wear it for a little bit? Just kind of giving John a wink. Yeah, uh, the the drunk is uh, he seems uh, you know, a little confused about this. He says, "Wait, wait, wait." He says, "You're gonna pay me to wear to wear that fine piece." Just for a few moments. Uh, I'm going to ready an action to grapple this motherfucker to the ground if things go south. Like if he starts to get <laughs> if he starts to get agitated, I'm going to I'm going to so, manhandle him to the floor basically. So the the drug the drug puts on the amulet, uh, and you see he immediately starts to sweat. Uh uh but then he he uh he starts to sweat and then there's a broad smile on his face and the the sweat from his brow evaporates and pushes out into a haze, uh, and he's kind of he's kind of hazy and just giggling and, and, and uh, kind of leaning back and forth, and he's kind of like reaching out trying to figure out the the mirage effect around him. He is just loving it at this point. All right, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to try to nab the uh, nab the thing back or from Give him. Give me a DC just... five flat check to see if you can target him. Uh, he's fair. concealed <laughs> I rolled a 6 so uh, there's that you can target him I will I will try to sleight of hand and take the oh wow well, okay uh, the thing away um, I think what is that thievery I'm sure uh, I got a 17 on thievery alright let me see here uh, yep you managed to you managed to slip the uh, the uh, amulet off his head uh, and as you slip it off his head the uh the mirage goes away right as he's reaching for it, and he flops off his stool. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help help him up, and then give him a silver piece. Look at Tusi just throwing money around. He's like, he's he's just still laughing. He says, "I," he goes, "I don't know what, to, I don't know what whether I'm just that drunk or that's a very special amulet, but, uh, but that was a great time. Friend. A little bit of both. I'll uh, I'll give him a, I'll just throw a smile at him and give him a, a beer on the house all right I'll, I'll yeah get, john that'll be uh that'll be a copper oh, all I right can, i can buy 50 i can buy 56 <laughs> beers <laughs> i'm That's gonna an opportunity. 
I'm gonna buy a beer for myself as well, uh, and then. Uh, yeah, I'll buy one for myself as well. I'm 54. Yeah. yeah. And then at that point, I will uh, chug the whole thing, and then as soon as I finish, I'm gonna put on the amulet. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna. I'm uh, the little right the middle. <laughs> <laughs> We're not back around anymore. I'm just going to. Uh... Calmly drink my beer and watch this <laughs> across the table from him. <laughs> I suppose I'm going to stumble into the bar kind of late. Gotcha. So, uh, as you as you put on the amulet, uh, you can feel the the you know the soft warmth from it uh, that you felt earlier. It's almost as if it's pleased, uh, and then you hear the you hear the giggle, the the little the chuckle again, uh, and it it seems it seems happy. Uh, and appreciative of, of something you've done. All right, all right, cool, cool. All right, I'm going to attempt to uh, use the action to conceal myself. Uh, it does not work. Got it, probably once per day. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, all right, I'm going to attempt to... Uh, what is it called? I'm going to attempt to use Produce Flame. Okay. Um, so produce I'm just... Flame. Take a I big drink. Gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna cast it, uh, just to put a uh, kind of make a fire up here in my hand. Um, the the innkeeper turns around and says, "Hey, cut that out! You'll burn the bar down." And I, I'm just gonna kind of quickly put my hand away. Uh, did I notice anything uh, different about the flame? Uh, no. All right, cool. Good try. All right. That looks just... good on you. I'm just going to wear it. Just casually wear it and just be like, well, there's nothing special about this amulet. Clearly. Uh, I'll buy another beer, though. That seems like the right thing to do. Is there like a dartboard in here? Ooh. Mm, now that's no, a question. No dartboard. I'm trying to think what else they'd play. Oh, fine. <clears throat> Are they anybody doing five finger fillet? You don't see anybody stabbing their ha at their hands with knives. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was a thought. It is a thought. Calm bar. Yeah. <laughs> it is it is only five in the afternoon. Right, right, wait. <laughs> it's not that late. Um I'd uh, I'd like to make a lap around the bar, just you know, inspecting furniture for mimicry. <laughs> how, do you, how exactly are you do this? Are you kicking it like or yeah, what's going on? I've got a I've got a sword. I can poke at it, you know, just see what happens. <laughs> this is how you get thrown out. I feel like you're right just here. checking like tables um, and yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not uh, you know. <laughs> so you stop being too interesting. Uh, give me a. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what kind of fucking check this is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna find one though. We are gonna find one. Is there just a character sheet in the back of this book that shows me all the things <laughs> I could potentially check? There's uh, gotta be right. Yeah, there should be. Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's check. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, let's check. Let's do a society <laughs> check. All right. That's what we'll do. Oh, a nine. It's not good. All right. So, uh, you do not know how to unobtrusively check things. So you're kind of running into stuff. That's fair. And people are starting to get a little suspicious and. Yeah, you bump you bump into one table and spill a little bit of somebody's beer, and he he seems to start to get up get upset with you, uh, and kind of looks at you like you're just really odd with your you know your wolf headdress, uh, and he says tells you to go sit down before he uh, go sit down before he takes exception to your wanderings. Tell him the mimics are gonna eat him if he's not careful. He he looks he looks really confused, and he says he says you you drunk. Go away. <laughs> All right. All right. Please, character now has a fear of mimics. Yeah. 
healthy fear. <laughs> no, we've uh, got to check for stuff. we got to make things interesting. <laughs> we haven't been gone long, really, have we? In the grand scheme. Like, no, no, yeah. not a couple days. Yeah. yeah. Um, Susie, so how many beers have you had? I just had the one so far, but I was just deciding whether or not I wanted to drink more. Um, <laughs> did you read my mind? Because I was literally thinking to myself, I was like, well, I could really go have a beer. Tonight. Yeah, <laughs> I'd have a beer. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I think I think I'll probably just have uh, probably have one one every one every half hour. Um, so I don't know how long we've been sitting here for, but uh, definitely a half hour because Lee's been bumping into furniture. Mm -hmm. Prodding at chair legs with his sword. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna find something interesting. You guys just right. wait. So I've had, I've had I've had another beer. Okay. So at the end of your your second beer, the uh, the language that you uh, heard earlier starts to kind of whisper again. All right. Um. And as it whispers, you start to feel like you might be able to understand it more. Ooh. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of just like huddle it, huddle around the little amulet to myself, um, and see, uh, if, uh, see if I can start like understanding it, trying to figure out what it's saying. Oh, uh, Bueller, hello. Hello. Oh, he muted and deafened, so. Got a phone call. Yeah, it's probably what it is. Whoop! He's, I heard a, I heard a he, get, he got a call. It's in the uh, uh, uh the roll. That's yeah. That's okay. That's what that whoop is. Well, I'm going to take this opportunity. To get... oh, uh, same. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a drink too. Be right back. <laughs> Well, do 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 do. here i'm here hello <laughs> um oh, man, i got the vaccine the other day and my arm is still like just fucking sore as shit when i like raise it above a certain height yeah i've heard i've heard mixed results which which one did you get uh moderna okay Yeah, didn't get the old Pfizer one, but I mean, I, I was just like, I was like, give me whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a vaccine, please. Yeah, Thank yeah, you very yeah. much. That's just kind of where I'm at. I would love a vaccine right about okay. now. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, no uh, Everybody went to go get beers, so. That's good. That's good. That was actually a call about beers. Beers? Oh. Beers? Yeah. Yeah, Lee's birthday's tomorrow. Not uh, oh. or well, his birthday party's tomorrow. Not Lee Garrett. Lee, Lee Taylor. Lee Taylor. Oh, the other one. Lee yeah. Taylor. Lean Taylor. Heard is turning thirty. Forever. Oh, yeah. big three zero. Yeah, big hey, three zero. Look, look so at him go. Him and Adam's wife are close in birthdays, so they're doing a combined party thing. All right. I was gonna say so. she just turned thirty, but. You knew yeah, Lee's, uh, <laughs> Lee's is next that. week. Yeah, but you knew that. Yeah, Lee's is next week because so she, uh, they either either they share a party or Lee and Lee and I usually share a party because I'm two weeks after. 
Right. Right. But, uh, but uh, yeah, so we were trying to get it figured out whether whether Cody should bring his wife or not. Let's see if Ashley was coming, et cetera, et cetera. Gotcha, so, gotcha. But yeah, Makes so enough. you know, important beer drinking stuff. Very anyway, important. So you're gonna try not to understand this out. language that's being whispered. Yep. Now that is the plan. I'm trying to listen in. Just be very uh be very aware. Are you trying to, my are you trying to speak back? Or just uh, not yet, no, just listen. Okay. So you can tell the language the language starts to shift. Uh it starts to shift. It sounds different than it did before. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, but um, you're still it's not identifiable yet. All right, cool. Um definitely rec- did I recognize that this happened after I uh after I had my second beer, was it uh, noticeable? Yeah, it was just your mind was kind of wandering, and as you were drinking, and and you started to notice the voice again. Did you right. notice um, him act differently, like sitting across from him? Like, or... Uh, John, you do not. Okay. All right, I'm going to uh, ask the bartender quickly for another al- for another beverage. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, so I'm going to pound this one. Uh, the language uh, starts to resolve itself. Uh, what language did you talk to the bartender in? Common? Um, common, yeah. So the language starts to resolve itself into broken common. Oh. Uh, and the uh, you hear the voice uh, uh, saying, uh, saying how, uh, asking if, if you can understand it yet, or if you're still too simple. Um, I'm going to whisper into the amulet. Still a little too simple. And I'm going to wave over to the bartender. One more, please. All right. He says, he says, huh, for a simple creature, I think I like this one. You're in, in your head. Yeah. Uh, so it's, uh, the amulet is now speaking to you. All right. Legit. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to just uh, let the amulet know that I, that I hear you. I hear you, buddy. And I'm gonna right. ask it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go sit in the corner away from a, other people, um, and put the amulet on the table. And I'm gonna. Well, do I have to be wearing it? If I take it off, do I still hear it? Uh, you do not. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll put the amulet back on, um, and then I'm gonna. Is there a mirror around? Uh, yeah, yeah. You managed to find one up behind behind the bar a little bit, kind of off to the side. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to wander behind uh, behind the bar and see if I can take the mirror off the wall. <laughs> it's like a big it's it's a big ass mirror. It's a big ass it's mirror. Like, All right. You know, like you see in bars, kind of back on the on the back side, of like by the by the alcohol yeah, so it reflects yeah. the patrons. Yep. 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 It's, All right. Never mind, never you mind. can see yourself I, in it though, if you'd like. Yeah, I, I see myself in the mirror. And I'm trying to. I'm looking at my face, uh, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look carefully at the amulet and be like, "What are you?" Uh, you see two small, two small pinpricks of red uh, that look like eyes uh, materialize, and then you, you, you're fairly certain you see one distinctly wink at you, and then you, you hear the laugh, and uh, it says, "Don't worry, I'll be back." Uh, and then the amulet goes silent. All right. Cool. Um, all right. At, at this point, Eric, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over to John and kind of just give him a heads up that this amulet is talking to me, and it only talks to me uh, when I drink. Uh. I'm going to. <laughs> uh, I'm a little concerned about that, just to be honest with you. <laughs> um, do you feel safe, or? Yeah, I feel safe. I think. Is that the alcohol talking, or do you really feel safe? Oh, well, that's like we just that's... got real, real, real fast. That's why <laughs> we need us to take it off you. Yeah, should we come up with a safe word? <laughs> Things start to go south. No? <laughs> nope. No safe no safe word needed. We're not worried about that. I mean okay. Can I like recall knowledge? Do I have any idea what this might be? Like you know Give me a recall knowledge arcana. Uh, an eight. Uh, you, nothing comes to mind. Um, you know I'll, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take the amulet off, uh, just to see, uh, uh, just just because I can see that John is very concerned about this amulet that's on my that's yeah. on my body. Yep, just... yep. You take it off, no problems. 
I'm just saying. I mean, okay, so I assume that like fiends and demons are at least known of in the world, like. Uh, yes. Typically, okay. Yes, yes, um, they are. Like that's common knowledge, at least that they yeah. exist. Okay. Um. Because to me, that that just screams that to me. Um, I'm sure Rhea would. She'd probably be upset that you put it on, so I don't know that we tell her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're just not going to tell her about it. Um, I mean, I think we can do this, but I'd rather be somewhere, you know, not in a crowded bar where things go, could go haywire and we could hurt people, you know, potentially. Lee, give me a perception check. But go ahead, John. Um, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just, just in that case chair something moved. goes wrong chair moved somebody said that chair moved go ahead john i'm just uh, letting lee no no yeah he's good uh, uh you know my, my <laughs> thing is like i'm you know i'm fine with like experimenting with the amulet but maybe just in a less crowded place if that makes sense uh I, I'm, I'm kind of nodding and understanding i'm like hey i understand i understand uh so i'm gonna walk up to the barkeep like barkeep we're gonna need a keg to go <laughs> I'm going to move over to the chair and poke at it with my sword. Okay. Uh, so the the barkeep comes over. He says, I'll be happy to sell to you, but is he going to be drinking it? He points to Lee, prodding at one of his stools. I mean, no, sorry, this is just for me. I mean, think of it All this right. way. If he comes, like, if, you know, we'll bring him with us and won't see him for the rest of the So. He says, in that case, I'll give you a discount. How, how big of a keg are we talking? Do you want like a like a little guy? Just a, a, like a cask? What? Yeah, like a little cask. What what are, what are they? What are they? What are those things like called? A like a pony the, keg. Uh, yeah, like a pony yeah, like keg. Pony yeah. keg. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> a cask? Uh, I'm gonna kick the chair over. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna come over and be like. <laughs> Gonna, gonna put my arm around you and be like, buddy, they can't get you here. It's okay. How much for the cask? <laughs> you, if you make him leave, and he points emphatically, <laughs> he says, "I'll sell it to you for, uh, I'll sell it to you for, uh, uh, for let's say two silvers." All right, easy enough. Uh, and so I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I said, I, 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 I kind of, I kind of wait for a second, realizing what's, what Lee's up to and say, how about I throw in five copper for the chair? The bartender nods and he says, uh, he just said, uh, well, he says, make sure he's, uh, he doesn't start drinking before he comes in next time. <laughs> so what was it? Two silvers and five copper? Yep. I'm taking right, the chair I, with me. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace it anyway. Just, yeah. yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna look at the barkeeper <laughs> and we... nod that, 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 you know, we got the chair. This Once I get of... outside, I'm gonna hit the bastard with the. Oh my god! <laughs> I rolled a nat one when I went to hit it. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lee, the uh, the chair reaches out, uh, and it hits you for four damage. <laughs> mm. Your fear intensifies. You are a uh, you are afraid one. Roll a it one. Question mark. <laughs> what do I see happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, uh, you see that Lee has just drawn his sword and swung, uh, swung at this uh, at this stool and, and completely missed, and then hit his elbow on the on a, the other like one of the other legs. <laughs> He's reeling backwards, uh, about to strike it again. Oh, I don't, I don't know that I stop him. I think I just, I think I just let this happen. All right, I guess All I'm right. leaning into it again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Oh my god, I, I rolled another one. Like I'm not kidding. I rolled one on the first one. I rolled one on this one. <laughs> All right, you, take, dice, you take though. three more. You take three more damage, <laughs> and you're now uh, you're now uh, frightened too. <laughs> what is frightened? Too? <laughs> she like I have to run away, right? Oh, you saw that's on four. 
Yeah, he just has he has a negative two penalty to uh, all of his checks and DCs. And attack rolls. Yep. All right. Greg, what are you doing during all this? Just curious. Yeah, Watching. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. 14. <laughs> 14. Uh, okay. Uh, is that with the with the frightened or that's not? With the, well, that's with the frightened. Yeah, I mean, how okay. old's your character, Greg? Like 16? 18? Not drinking age. Not drinking that's age. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. 19 is what I put. 19, uh, yeah. Right, not drinking So that's, that's a hit. That's a hit, Lee. I mean, I guess it's tricky edge somewhere. Yeah, like Europe. Ten, ten damage. Ten damage. Uh, so yeah. one of the legs, one of the legs splinters <laughs> off the chair. Uh, it looks like it might still have some fight in it. Might still have some fight in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give it another swing. Oh, that's no good. Um, that's what a seven? No, uh, eleven. Lee, what's your AC? Twenty-one. All right, the chair's the the chair's clearly fighting back at this point. <laughs> I'm like looking at everyone else. I'm just like watching this happen. <laughs> just like, are we? I'm a, I'm, I'm assuming that, that like I have the cask in two hands or something. Like yeah, I, it's gonna uh, you've got it under one arm. Yeah, you got it under one arm. Can't do anything about it. You've got one one free hand. Gotcha. I mean, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, I've got nothing. I'm just gonna kind of walk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I got nothing. I'm, I'm, very intrigued, I'm very intrigued by what's happening here. I'm gonna touch my face uh, as kind of like, in, like I'm thinking about this situation more carefully. Ooh. And these like start to like draw attention outside here, like if other people <laughs> start to notice what's going on. <laughs> Not, not just as of yet. There's everybody's still pretty busy, but they are starting to kind of wander. You can see some random passerby starting to come back from like their daily jobs. <laughs> uh, go, Lee, are you continue to fight this chair? Yeah, why wouldn't I? It's a mimic, clearly. <laughs> I'm hitting it again. That's a ten. Uh, that will miss. But did you did you take account for one of your frightens going away? Oh, no, I didn't take one of them away. So, I'm 11. So, it'll hit. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'll give you uh, give you the business. Here it is. Uh, five. Damage. Okay. Uh, you swing and, uh, you swing and a, another small chunk comes off the chair. Uh, it must have been at a critical point, though. The, it, it crumbles. Uh, the legs fall still. <laughs> So it's not moving anymore. It is no longer moving. All right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna loot it. <laughs> uh, Lee, you you find a uh, you find a makeshift club, one of the chair legs. <laughs> Taking it. Okay, uh, Lee, you get two experience. Ha! Ah. Is ah. it is it the helmet or like what what's happened? <laughs> <laughs> Did he get, did he come out of that tube? Did he get possessed? Or something? I'm going to attempt a medicine check on me. <laughs> Just kind of looking concerned um, at Ellie. I'm like, is he like, 16? <laughs> 16, all right. Uh, gonna go ahead and uh, lay on hands. Uh, heal 2d8. Um, so six. You regain six eight uh, hit points. All right. Feel a little bit better. <laughs> that whole that whole experience we, was, was perfect. We should probably go check for mimics in some of the other buildings in town. I don't know, uh, you know, there's a lot of tables in the dining hall that I'm not sure about. I'm gonna look at him and say, we don't have enough money to buy all the chairs. And tables. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't. <laughs> we can't afford that. We can't afford that. Nonsense. We'll barter. I We've mean, got lanterns and shields and all sorts of good stuff. I mean, do you want to go uh, barter with Druzna? I mean, do you want do you want to spend good quality time talking to her about why you destroyed every single chair in the dining you know, hall? I think the frozen one would have more success than me nope. at bartering 
in the what's, dining hall. Not my uh, what's what's called? Not my chair, not my problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not he's, my chair. He's not the one breaking <laughs> breaking all the furniture. <laughs> all right. Well, let's just go open that cask up and get going. <laughs> all right. But if your chair bites you, it's not my fault. Not my chair, not my problem. That's right. I've killed one chair tonight. I'm not doing it again. All right. So you guys all uh, go get uh, sufficiently drunk. Anybody who's uh, partaking. Uh, yeah, I guess where are we getting drunk? Are we going? Is there a parking lot somewhere? <laughs> Oh, this is a man after my own, my own heart. We've got a mini keg. We're testing this amulet. It feels like appropriate to go to a parking lot. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you go to yeah. the equivalent of the parking lot, like the small. There's like a small, like uh, like a stable. Or some, yeah, yeah, grazing area for the local stable. Yep, yep. We're gonna definitely gonna go over there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use Produce Flame to, to light a torch uh, and stick it in the ground. Okay. Is there a local farm supply store in town? Just, you know. <laughs> yeah. So yeah there'd, be, sure. there'd be other folks drinking there. Oh, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a minute, Lee. There will be other folks drinking there. That's right. <laughs> Nobody knows uh, what turns out. The, the rule Sorry. king is what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> yes. John, John's from, I know. from yeah, Brazil. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. never, you yeah. never drink a load of the rule king no. parking lot. No, yeah. you don't. But you get free popcorn. No. So. There's always somebody drinking in the rule king parking lot. Yeah. Because <laughs> you get free All popcorn. Right. I mean, <laughs> like, that's the whole. Is that why? <laughs> yeah. You know, he might be onto something. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's actually a really be. good point. <laughs> yeah. Be. Um, all right, so I'm going to put this amulet back on and start trying to talk to it again. Just be like, hey, hey. <laughs> the, you hear the voice say, say this, boy, this is more amusing than laying in that dusty tomb. He says, what's wrong with your friend? Which friend? They're both kind of wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the voice just laughs. Uh, but no, but seriously, which friend? He just laughs again. All right. Well, <clears throat> watch for that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to give him. A, I'm gonna take another drink. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna ask, uh, where where are you from, or or what are you? He says clearly. He says clearly. I'm your new little helper. Uh, he says well, obviously you need me. If if uh, <laughs> what I've seen tonight is any indication. Certainly, we'll, th we'll think about it. The question is, do you need me? The amulet goes uh, oddly silent for a minute. Um, I don't know what to respond with that. I'm just going to let it be quiet for a little bit and casually sip the next, the next beer. I feel like we've set up some type of like cornhole or horseshoe situation going on. <laughs> Probably. Lee, did you like hammer your chair leg in the ground for a horseshoe pit? Uh, do we have horseshoes or something to throw at it? You're in a stable. We're in a stable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. Let's put that mimic leg in the ground and we'll uh, chuck horseshoes at it. <laughs> See who can ring it. I just about lost some beer on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play some horseshoes. So this is. This is complete proof the fact that I just about lost some beer is that I did not text Lee ahead of time and be like, hey, you got a mental disease. You gotta you gotta sell this. <laughs> like something happened in the tomb. This is not some some byplay. It's uh we're full on RP right now, boys. Right. <laughs> hey, mimics are scary. I mean they could be anywhere. Like you anywhere. have furniture in your room right now around you, and you could don't be even a know. You don't even know. <laughs> Well, I'll throw ten. Right. I'll throw ten copper down to see if I can beat you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll throw down ten copper. All right. Okay. So what we're gonna do is a series of uh, opposed dexterity checks. Dex. Oh, 
that's good. That My deck's good. high. Mine is too, plus four. Mine's plus four as well. Oh, all right. Opposed dice rolls. Even playing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The first one's a 10 with my mod. Mine is a 14. Good. Okay, so you throw your you throw your shoes and John uh, John's ahead by uh, he he scored two points. All right. all right. Second roll. Not much better. It's an 11. Got a 19. Uh, John is, is kicking the shit out of you right now, Lee. You know, if the, if the leg would quit wiggling, <laughs> I'd be able to hit it. Uh, oh my god, fourth roll is on eight. Uh, or third roll. Third roll for me is a six. Oh shit, oh, it's a game. So Lee, Lee comes back a little bit. He uh, he scores he scores a point. Is, is, Gre uh, is, Greg, is Greg around? Uh, Greg, are you around or did you leave? Uh, I can be around. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Greg before the next roll, and I'm gonna say, uh, um, will you give me uh, two coppers, two to one, that, that the little guy comes back? Yeah, yeah, I'll take that bet. All right, two coppers, two to one. Uh, all right, okay. go ahead, roll. All right, here we go. Last roll for ooh a ten. Ah, I got, fuck. I got a sixteen. <laughs> ah, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so Looked John John manages a ringer on the last <laughs> one. John wins that game horseshoes. All right, let me get right, a get... Double or nothing? Uh, uh, you, want oh. a you want a double or nothing? Oh, oh, I don't know. Can we use something other than a mimic leg? Because it's uh, <laughs> moving around a lot on me. Uh, <laughs> I, got, uh, I got some history. Got? Oh, I still have that I lance. You already took care of that. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, you stick the lance in the ground. Yeah, I'll I'm stick the pull the mimic leg out. Stick the lance in the ground. Put it back in my pack. Yeah. All right. Double or nothing. I'm down ten right now. All right, Greg. I'll also double or nothing. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'll give you the. Don't give you the two copper for now, but I'll go to go down. Uh, I already added it to you, but. Want me to now go first? We'll yeah, you can go first this time. Alright. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna change dice too. Alright. Uh fifteen. Uh, eleven. Alright, All right, John goes up by two. An eight. Uh oh. Eleven again. Oh. Alright. Uh it's it's two to one. John's still in the lead, but Lee scored there. 14 7 Uh-oh. John's uh John's up. He's broad in the lead. Oh man. Bad news. All right. Let's see. 21. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, we're so dead. <laughs> Natural one. I can't <laughs> the third one tonight. So Lee uh Lee Hux this horseshoe. Uh, Lee, throw me a uh, throw me a d6. I'm gonna go ahead and just toss <laughs> one copper, Greg. <laughs> one on the d6. Okay, uh, he, you huck this horseshoe, and it actually hits and breaks the lance, uh, and keeps going through, and it lands three or four feet behind it. <laughs> Great. One, one lance in my inventory. <laughs> you know, he thought that lance was a mimic too. Yeah. It was looking right. shifty. I'm, I'm down 20 copper. I'm <laughs> moving you up 20 copper. <laughs> All right. I'm done. All I'm right. defeated. Everything's a mimic. <laughs> it's all bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's all bullshit. I'm going to take, right. take another drink and try to talk to the amulet one more time. Okay. What are you going to ask? Uh, I'm just going to ask, uh, where are you <laughs> now? Where are you now? He goes, he goes, I'm here. I'm always here. Uh, unfortunately, that, that's my that's my curse. Always here. What's your name? I'll tell you your I'll tell you my name if you tell me yours. It's you first. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell her my real name, not my epitaph or whatever. Uh, okay. And so I'm just gonna whisper to whisper it to her. Uh, just be like, my name is John Cor. Trying to make sure that nobody else hears. Me. All right. Give me a uh, give me a stealth check. I'm stealthy. That should be fine. Being not drunk, I will actively perceive since I'm probably pretty close. I was gonna say the question is, do, what do I take any negative penalties for being drunk? 
Uh, well, I will figure that out. All right. Well, I rolled an eight, but got a fifteen. Um, okay. Drunk, Greg, drunk go ahead. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, you hear him, uh, Greg. You're listening in, and you hear him say, "I'll tell you my name," and your ears perk up. Uh, and he whispers something unintelligible. You can't quite make it out. Uh, to see you, uh, you hear the amulet uh, speak back. He says, "Ah." He says, fine, fine. My name is Boopy Doe. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, um, I'm going to recall knowledge to see if I know that name. <laughs> okay. All right, I rolled a four, but I have dubious knowledge. Uh, so, Yeah. What does dubious knowledge do again? Is it, yeah, you know... One false and one true thing. Um, I just don't know which one's which. Okay. Um, you know that... Uh, gotta give me a second on this one. Uh, while we're thinking about this, while I'm thinking about the what you know and what you don't know, Greg, uh, you can craft your next snare at half price. Sweet. Wow. Half From of your, the half? Thing. Half of the half, so yeah, your okay. quarter price on the on the next one, or half of whatever you end up with, right? If if you yeah. want to work, yeah. If you don't want to work very long on it, you just want to pay it out, right? Just half of whatever your total would be is what you learned from that trap earlier. Cool. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I'll have a half off next snare. Keep you. On. Uh, you recall uh, looking looking deep in your past and, and the the readings you've done and, and uh, out in nature, uh, you recall that <clears throat> that an old druid once mentioned uh, once mentioned to you uh, that a great uh, a great arch demon uh, was named Boopido, uh, and you thought it was funny because uh, one of your childhood friends had the same name. All right, that's fair. Uh, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna, at this point, I'm gonna take the amulet off and just kind of put it away and be like, I don't know if I should wear this. Um, you don't remember yeah. your friend Poopy Doe <laughs> from, from, you know, from my childhood, from your childhood, <laughs> ringing any bells right now? <laughs> uh, for, for reference, uh, John and Lee, uh, what, uh, Tusi, give me a, uh, Oh, what's the... Is there insight? Is that a thing? Um, oh, I think thing. that's rolled all the way up into, like, perception, probably. Is it, is it perception, or is it... Uh, is insight rolled into? Or is it into uh, something else? Is it rolled into diplomacy? I mean, there's also, like... Gather info, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Because that's gather information about an individual or topic, which would be kind of... Into. Roll a d20 too, see him. We'll figure it out. I don't know where that one went. So I'm just gonna roll another one. Uh -huh. All right, I got a 15. Okay. <clears throat> Basically, perception for reading someone's intent and knowledge check for. Okay, uh, perception then too. Yeah, there is a sense right, motive so 14. action. That's perception versus... You said 14? Oh, I'm sorry. 19. Uh, 15 19. plus 4. Yeah. Uh, so as as you take it off, you hear you hear a small giggle oh, yeah. from the amulet, uh, and you sense that it may not have been telling the truth. Uh, all right. About its, about its name. Uh, uh, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, and uh, so I'm just kind of a little confused. Uh, but just gonna put the amulet away and leave it, uh, tuck it, tuck it away for the night. Um, and, uh, finish another drink. Okay. Everybody who's drinking, give me a fortitude save. That's a nine. Ooh, I got an 11. Okay. Greg, you drink it or no? Nope. Okay. Uh, 
uh, John with the nine uh, slumps down asleep uh, around the cask. That little drunken sleep. I'm going to attempt to steal his winnings. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> All right. Anybody else have anything? We're just going to keep drinking. I'm done. Uh, I'm done drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You've got about, uh, you've got just about a third of the cask left. All right. Uh, I'm going to, as we kind of walk back, I'm going to walk back to the bar. Uh, is the bar still open? Uh, it is still open. Uh, I'm going to wander in and just give him the cask back. He's kind of shrugs up, you know, kind of, you know, kind of shrinks his eyebrows together and kind of says, was my, was the beer not good enough for you? Or are you that much of a lightweight? But nah, we just, we just finished. He says, maybe there's some sense in some of you after all. And he, uh, he takes the cask back across the bar and he says, don't worry. He says, I'll, uh, he says, I'll remember this and your next, your next couple rounds will be free. I appreciate it. Not wasting the good beer. I give, I give him a nod and just wander out, um, and attempting not to stumble. Okay. Uh, give me a reflex save on that. Oh, I'm a cat. I'm good at those. I'm a cat. Uh, yeah, that's a 25. Yeah, you're good. Walk the straight lines. Yeah. What'd you guys Look do with at me? me go. Yeah, did you guys leave John in the field or not? I no, definitely I'll left John, but I'll um, pick him yeah. up and drag him back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I mean, he's taller than me. He's gonna get some part of him drug. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, he's he's getting drugged back. Okay. Uh. All right. What are yeah. you gonna you what are you gonna do with him, Lee? You gonna flop well, him in his bed? Yeah, I'm gonna take him back to the our bunks. What if it, what if his bed's a mimic? His bed could be a mimic, and I'll throw him in first to make sure you know that uh, that the top bunk isn't also a mimic. So okay. Can sleep peacefully. Yeah. That's, eat uh, that's fair. So you toss him in, and uh, uh, it doesn't seem to it doesn't seem to swallow him. All right, well, I'm gonna go for the top bunk then. Okay. Turn in myself. All righty. <laughs> Greg, anything? Nope. Just go to bed. All right, I think we have downtime activities, guys, and that's probably a good place to stop. This was an interesting session. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It was a good change of pace. Uh, it's fucking funny. So figure out how much downtime you're going to take and what you're going to do with it. Yeah, I'm just um, going to, you know, apply the rune, basically. So that's my main thing. Every time we have okay, so that's all, that only takes a day. I mean, you guys, you guys can't craft any magic items yet, can you? You don't have any... You don't I have don't crafting have any, beat. I don't have no. any crafting. No. No. Um, okay. Oh, I mean, there, if, if, if you people are down for it, I would like to try to spend a day so I can relearn, or a week so I can relearn another spell. That's fine. Well, should, should yeah. I keep heal at level one and level two, or should I change my level one heal to something else? Um, it probably just makes sense to keep the heals so that I have seven heals if we need them. Yeah, I uh, feel like yeah. <laughs> there's not a lot of there's not a lot of uh, like you're kind of like the healer slash damage, you know, like the spell yeah. cast healer. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Never mind. So in that case, I rec I'm just gonna t whatever time John spends uh, getting that rune done, I'm going to. Uh, Oh, and I want to sell the the two long swords and the one lance. Yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, so. I'll just practice my pan flute. I think that's just one okay. old five silver. Two, so give me a performance check. That's not very good. Um, that is a five plus. I think it's only a four for me. Yeah. So I got a nine. Uh, so you, uh, after some practice with the pan flute, you uh, you don't manage to learn any, any new notes, but you feel a little more proficient with E. With E, yeah, <clears throat> that's fair. I'm very proud of myself. Okay, Lee, what are you doing over the day? Are you moving a rune? Uh, yeah. 
Okay, so you just pay your cost out of your pocket, then roll the crafting check? Yep. Uh, 17 on the check, and I already paid it earlier out of my uh, pocket. Okay. Yeah, you're good, and you, you successfully transferred over. Greg, All what are you right. doing on your day, day of downtime? I will attempt to earn income by crafting stuff for the store, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Yep. That's the thing. You can you can craft earn income. I'm trying Roll to perform, it. get good enough at performing so I can fucking learn how to the hell that actually make money. There it is. Good old 12 plus whatever I have. Plus you got the table? Yeah, I don't think I'm... You want me to look it up, or do you have it? I guess it depends on the task level. <laughs> um, What level are you? We're three, three right? Yeah. Okay. Um, you make five silver pieces, Greg. Cool. I'm thinking next time... I don't know how you guys feel about it, but we have a, a goblin camp to go. Mm. Yeah, let's go fucking we'll hunt fuck them up. down at this point. Yeah. Now, I think, you know, looking back at our, our quest hooks, we found the town some more. Um, we we found the... Uh, we, we found all the... We got all the fish. fishermen taken care of. You know, yep. the only thing that we haven't really done that's on here is these goblin encampments. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's go fuck them up. Yeah, now I'm striking. Now I'm striking. About to, about to put out the pain. Yeah, I really don't know what to do with this amulet. I'm gonna have to think about that. I, I mean, I think it'll be useful, but you know, how much time you want to spend with it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll just wear it for encounters, probably, just to reduce the possibility of it being some weird shit. I'm sure that'll go fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, let's see here. Lee, go ahead and give yourself a hero point. Uh-oh. <laughs> for right. fucking killing a mimic. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Hey. Uh, and, uh, let's... Who did I give half a hero point to a while back? Um, I got I got a half a while I got back. Tusi, Tusi, and John can both have half a hero point too. All right, yes. hurrah! Uh, so yeah. you, that puts everybody at two heel, uh, hero points. We did it, boys. Greg just shook his head, shook his head at all the drunkenness <laughs> that was going on. Shenanigans. Got a drink to get a hero point. It's the only way, Greg. Underage drinking. You want some money off of me? Gives so. you half a hero point. True. He did, yeah, he did win. He won money off of me. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah but this right. is uh, underage drinking uh, is being promoted in this game, I guess. <laughs> well, well, now uh, I don't know. Now Lee's two experience points ahead of us, so he's gonna quickly out level us <laughs> yeah, he's, he's absolutely going to he's a monster, monster he's unstoppable. it's level four one session before us it's like god damn it <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. hilarious. Hilarious. An experience from an encounter <laughs> the bad thing is i'm gonna forget and not write something down i'm gonna rely on you guys for what my experience is and i'll have it messed up because <clears throat> i'm supposed sure, to be too ahead yeah. Revert. You know, if you guys had jumped in and helped me kill that chair, you'd be up a hero point and two more XP. I mean, it seemed like your battle. To... <laughs> your battle. <laughs> to... <laughs> Definitely was not one we were going to move in on. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Whatever. Whatever you fellas think. <laughs> Something oh, about man. it that didn't feel. <laughs> didn't feel like it I needed didn't to feel intervene. right. Yeah. But, yeah. No. This 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 was a good session. This was, this was a worthy session. Uh, it was it was I think it was a tough week. Needed a good laugh. It's good for that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had my pen and paper out. The only thing I had to write down was uh, the health of a mimic. <laughs> hey, mimic confirmed. <laughs> they exist. He's got one confirmed Apparently. kill. He's got a trophy. <laughs> I've got the leg. <clears throat> I'm gonna carry it for a while.
What if it has babies? Uh, yeah, what if I'm they mud? Mud? I don't know. I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, I do anticipate killing another mimic with the mimic leg that's in my bag. So you know, if we ever know. actually capture a mimic, I'm totally capturing it and just putting it in his room at night. <laughs> you, you did not hear that. <laughs> Okay. That's where I mean, as much the, as this uh, makes my job harder, I'm I'm all for it. <laughs> That's where you use the uh, secret <laughs> chat function in a roll twenty. Yep. To the DM. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there is secret <laughs> chat, isn't there? Yep. There There's chat. also secret chat via text message. Oh God. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, I guess that's true too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's plenty of those options out there. Oh, uh, I guess I have a blank rune stone now that I have. I transferred that thing over, right? Yeah. Yeah, typically they're not actually worth much, the blank ones. I mean, if, if you have a couple, throw them in a chest or you yeah, know, your, just your locker at the end of your... And just if you want to, like, you have some old gear you want to get rid of a plus one off of. Right, right. Later that you don't want to hold the old gear. It's about yeah. what it's good for. Makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't. they don't really do much. Gotcha. Oh, man. So my floor's done, by the way, guys. Nice. Oh, nice! That's exciting. Yeah, they finished up today. Um, it looks pretty darn good. Yeah, some good tile. Uh, I think I like it better. I like it a lot better than my uh, my laminate. I actually, I'm, I'll just go down and take a picture of it and send it so everybody can comment on the floor. Who uh, yeah. who did it? Uh, Greers. In uh, right there off of uh, yeah. Morgan. Yeah, yeah, Morgan and Greenover kind of. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so uh I gotta turn some lights on real quick. So my now my downstairs echoes. Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds it sounds like you just started echoing in there. Jesus. Yeah, it echoes because there's no furniture and it's all uh, hard surface tile. Uh, yeah. Oh, see. yeah, the furniture isn't in yet. Yeah. I uh update yep. our time. Our days elapsed by the way and everything. Good nice. stuff. Let me pull this Discord channel up. This will be in the Pathfinder Discord. This is how special you guys are. Oh, oh boy. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That oh, looks nice. That looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it came out really good. Shit, that looks like a fancy-ass house. Yeah, Who lives there? That's, that's, that, uh, <laughs> Who that's that nice vinyl, right? Like the vinyl wood. No, that's that's actually tile. Oh, it is tile. It's tile. Oh, yeah, the tile. Yeah. Wow. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's it's just, it's a ceramic tile. It's kind of is it didn't... is it long and skinny like that, or it just looks yeah. like it? No, it's oh. long and skinny. They lay it and like it looks like wood mm. planks. Wow, so damn. Wow. Okay. And you took all your cabinets out too. Wow. Yeah, we did it right. Man, just I mean that's went all the way up yeah. to the wall. And... Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so we've been living upstairs, like just upstairs for a week. Yeah, that's not the worst though. You guys have plenty of space up there, you know. Yeah, except the downstairs has exploded into the upstairs. Right. <laughs> uh -oh. I saw your garage on Saturday. Mm hmm. You put the yeah, island Saturday. out there and all that? Yeah, all the cabinets are out there and all the most of the furniture from downstairs. Have about half of it went upstairs, half of it went to the garage. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit nice. of an undertaking, but but no, it, it looks good. And uh, dad's going to come over on Saturday and we're going to put the island back in and start setting cabinets. Kind of dope. Yeah, that'll look really yeah. nice, and it won't be so, mm -hmm. it won't be so echoey once you get all that stuff back in there. Yeah, so, I think yeah. once the like we get a couple rugs down and the furniture and the cabinets yeah. and the island, it, it should cut down a lot of it. Yeah. yeah. Nice stuff. Or I'll just talk to myself more. <laughs> well, maybe yeah, I'll you know, uh, way to do it. I'll get to actually uh, see it this year sometime. So you know. Yeah, it might be good. Yeah. Might be good. Other than that, yeah, I don't have. I get my second COVID shot on Monday too. You're gonna feel Later. like shit for mm. yeah, a day or two. Yep. I'm gonna. I'm taking Tuesday off because you may, yeah, you may as well because you're gonna feel it. Just, just to. I didn't want to fuck with it, right? No. If, if I end up feeling great, fine. I've heard a couple things on. I heard if you've had COVID, maybe the the second one won't hit you very hard because the first one hits you. That's that's how Lindsay's was because she had she got COVID and then got the 
vaccine, she said. I've heard like, that not just from you. I heard it from somebody else, too. Yeah, yeah. I think it's like if you've had COVID, it's not going to hit you nearly as hard. But if you haven't had COVID, you definitely fucking feel it. So. <clears throat> so. Like my uh, aunt got hopefully. 103 degree fever or something off the second wow. shot. So she had to, like, yeah. take some ibuprofen and, you know, knock it down, basically. So. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. That's something else. Yeah, it hits everybody a little bit differently, though, it seems, from what I can tell. It's like, you know, my dad said he said it felt like a, you know, 36-hour hangover with, like, headaches, you know. So, oh, that doesn't sound fun at all. Yeah. No. Yeah. Abby yeah. felt pretty bad. My dad said his neck was sore when he got the second one, so. My, my neck was sore. He had COVID. His wife, the second shot, got her down, and she had COVID, too, so I don't know. But, uh... <clears throat> Abby, she felt pretty bad. She got the second one. And I'm still good. on waiting lists, so. Yeah, me too. I'm just sitting here chilling. Yeah, Ashley's not even on the waiting list. She's just. Yeah, she's yeah. not eligible to go on the waiting list yet. Yeah, I, uh, I figured out how to sign up for it because I'm technically like essential emergency services like infrastructure or something so i signed up for yeah. it went out to like Dodger because Stadium the asbestos and, well because basically <laughs> the way that they classified us is because they can't do any construction if they don't test for it so because mm -hmm. of the asbestos yeah it's like okay well that's fine it worked out in my favor but like went out to dodger stadium weird, right? and yeah i went out to dodger stadium and like the the thing they have set up out there is like I have never seen anything like it in my life. Like, it is just this absurd, like, slalom of, like, orange cones for, like, cues for all the cars, but, like, they just have it set up in, like, these bays, and it's just this, like, super hyper giant mass vaccination site. It's crazy. Wow. Like, but they were all in a good so mood. So do you, do you really drive happy. through it, or do you yeah. walk through it? you drive through it. Yep, I just drove up, okay. parked my car, and then they come around with, like, a iPad or whatever and, like, scan my little QR code, and then... That's wild. Uh, they That's just sick. open up my door, and then they just pop a shot in me, make me wait 15 minutes, and then I drive off. Oh. That is super sick. Yeah. Uh, compared to how difficult it is here, uh... We're just, Ruth's Roos, been registered for like a month now almost uh, at this point. Well, no, it might have only been like two or two and a half weeks, but uh, it feels like fucking forever. Yeah. And we just got nothing. It, it's just like, you know, I'm happy to get it now because like as soon as they open up for everyone, like it would have been, it's going to be a nightmare to get just in general, just because there's 15 million people out here. Mm -hmm. So like, right. You know, I'm trying to like well, that expedite it. <laughs> You gotta wonder about the old Johnson and Johnson shot. I I don't know. I haven't heard anybody who's gotten it. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I've I have only heard seen some weird press it. on it. Like uh, yeah, I have, you never I've know, heard, right? Yeah, I've heard. I've, I've talked like a couple people I know have gotten it, and it hasn't been a problem. It's just uh, you are more likely to still get a severe yeah. case of COVID. I guess is that is the downside to it. Yeah. Um. So like you know, it doesn't. It's not quite as effective at preventing the. Um, just as effective as preventing death, but not quite as productive as preventing uh, serious illness. Yeah, it's like um, the efficiency yeah. is lower on it, right? So. Yeah, it's instead of like 90 it's something, it's like 70 something. Um, Which but, is still way better than zero something. Yeah, It is way better than zero something, that's for certain. Yeah. Uh, all right, I need to go to bed. It's a long night. Yeah, me too. I gotta get up and actually go into work tomorrow. Yeah, it's a bummer, dude. All right, yeah, I worked guys. from home the last two days so <laughs> with the floor. So yeah, yeah. all right, good stuff. We'll do it again next uh, next Thursday. Yep. yep. See Sounds you. Good. See y'all. Yeah.